morning everybody or whenever you're watching this good afternoon good evening you know all that Truman Show I sound like <laughs> anyway I hope you're all well um yeah this is another vlog as always I'm Julie if you haven't been here before also known as Mrs England's Emporium which is the name of almost every social media I have <laughs> my name if you wonder where Mrs England's Emporium has come from it's just my name my name is Mrs England, I'm Julie England, so I just decided instead of in virus style apparel, which I was to start with, that I would go with Mrs England's Emporium because it's a little bit more personal to me. Something that basically says, it's mine. <laughs> and that's it really. So anyway, I'm going to show you a little bit of what goes on during my day. I hope you enjoy it. Um, got some stuff of Rob's to show you, a sale to show you and a really cool item that i've had for quite a while there may be some other bits in here too i'm going to try and answer some questions so bear with me if you enjoy the video please consider giving me a big thumbs up it really helps me out subscribe if you haven't already why not it's free and you can unsubscribe if you don't want to um be subscribed for long um i'm only uploading at the minute mondays wednesdays and fridays i'm giving myself a bit of a break because i've been full on for about three months now and when things start to pick up with eBay, I won't be able to carry on doing every single day. So I've decided to cut it down a little bit and give you better quality videos, hopefully. So yeah, if you want to support me further, you can buy something from one of our shops. Our links are on my channel. If you do, pop me a message or put a comment with the purchase and I will give you a shout out in a video. You can also buy me a coffee, link is in the description, or you can leave super thanks and you get a shout out for those too. Let's get into it. Okay, so I've got some stuff to show you here what Rob has picked up today. Sorry if there's a bit of background noise. My son's over here watching his iPad. Right, so men's clothing. I have no idea how much he's going to list these things for. But as I always say in my videos, if you want to be nosy and find out, look at all the dust because I've just moved the clothes. Ha! <laughs> Anyway, if you want to be nosy and see how much he lists them for, his, chan his eBay shop is on my channel, as is mine. So go follow his shop and you will get updates. Anyway, this is what he's bought today. So these Timberland shoes are trainers. I think they're actually trainers, aren't they? Um, they're in pretty good condition. a bit of scuff into the front. Nothing major. Let me see if I can find a size for you guys. Here we are. There are seven and a half. Um, so as, as I always say as well, if there's anything here that you fancy, pop me a message on Instagram or have a look on Rob's shop. He hasn't listed these at this point, but they may be listed by the time this video goes out. So you can always message me on Instagram anyway to find out and I can point you in the right direction. But these were £2. Not bad, eh? Pair of Timberlands. Um, don't know how much he's going to list those for, but they're pretty cool. Then he's got this jacket. Now, he said to me that he bought this just because basically we're not going to be buying any stock for a while and he just thought it was a pretty cool like walking jacket like winter jacket bronte classic outerwear made in england extra small looks vintage to me let me know what you think in the comments um yeah bronte xl yellow um yeah have no idea how much it is yellow that i know it doesn't look yellow but it is i promise we've got some really cool t-shirts here these are all size 3XL, so I am very, very suspicious that these have all come from the same person. <laughs> There's a really cool Bowie one. I love this. Um, I don't know where it's from. The Bowie label inside is rather faded, but it's a triple XL. Um, there's no Primark label or anything like that in it. That's really cool. He paid £2 for that. This one as well. If they were so big, I would be fighting to keep these. This one's really cool. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Again, a 3XL black. Like I say, I think these have come from the same person. I don't believe they're vintage, but they are cool. This one apparently is the carpet pattern off the film The Shining. I love that film and I did not get this reference at all. So I don't know whether this is a thing or whether it's just a cool t-shirt. I have no idea, but that is pretty cool. It's 3XL, absolutely love it. Don't have any idea how much he's gonna sell those for, but they're cool. This was a kind of diamond in the rough. 
bought this for two pound it is an outerwear jacket always strong for excellence and it is a 2xl it's got a lovely soft fair lining to the hood and the inside so it's very warm it's a thick jacket um it says outdoor sports on it so i would imagine that means this is probably waterproof although i can't say for sure two pound for that though amazing um let you see my shadow amazing <laughs> anyway enough silliness um i well we had a look at comps on this and they are pretty good so i think that's going to be quite high i think he's going to be listing it for around maybe 40 50 maybe more i'm not sure but yeah like i say nosy at his shop if you want to know then he found these these were two pounds 25 and he bought these because he's seen a lot of the guys that live in America buy these. And girls, actually. Steve Steve and Barry's Relaxed Fit Engineered for Comfort Trousers. These are a 30 times 34. Um, they're just a cream coloured or ivory coloured trouser. They're quite hard wearing by the looks of them. Really nice condition. I hate picking up things in this colour. I always get them home and they always have a mark. Or I put them in storage and then they get a mark, which is always fun when we've sold and you get them out. But yeah, fingers crossed they'll be fine. We'll probably just bag them up to be fair. But yeah, £2.25 for them. I have no idea how much they're worth. So fingers crossed, that's a lot. Then we've got this Ted Baker jumper, size four. Sorry, nowhere near. Um, £3.75. This feels nice, like it's got good material in it. It's long sleeved. Um, it's got this lovely textured front. It's got like cubes all over it. Um, spare button inside. Let's have a look. Ah, there you go. 94% merino wool, 6% polyamide. That is really good. Yeah, so that's why he's bought that. I'm going to say, it doesn't normally pick up Ted Baker unless it's a really cool pattern. A big size or it's got really good material so there you go don't know how much he's gonna list that for i am sorry guys useless at men's clothing unless he has told me right so we've got this vintage believe it's leather jacket it's got a lot of marks on it there's one there there's one there there's one there but rob didn't care i showed him before we went to pay for it and he was like it's old people don't care so yeah, I do trust him because he sold a lot like this. Anyway, £5.50 for this, size large. Um, it's very heavy. Inside pocket there. There we go, it is real leather. Made in England. Um, yeah, size large. I think that's, what does that say? Is that Otow? I don't know, Otov? Who knows? Anyway, it's got a pretty cool lining. Really nice. Um, I think he'll be aiming fairly high with this. But like he said, because he only paid £5.50, he's willing to give it a shot, even with the stains. Yeah, there's another one. Look, I just keep finding them. I think that is actually a cigarette burn. Because it's kind of raised. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? But it's, it's nice. It's leather. It's vintage. We could end up getting quite a good amount for that. So, fingers crossed, we will. Let me know what you think in the comments to what Rob has bought. Would you have picked it up? What do you think to her prices? Anything you fancy for yourself, pop me a message on Instagram and we can do your deal. As I always say, subscriber deals are our thing. So, And you also get a shout out as well, if you want to. The only reason I give you a shout out is if you leave a message with your purchase. So, if you do that, you will definitely get a shout out. So let me know, guys, and I will see you in a bit. So I just have to show you all this. So this skirt, before I go into anything about it, I have had it for about two and a half years. It's been sat in my shop, all different prices, and I have just literally steamed it. That's why the steam is there. It was folded up in one of my boxes, and I can't actually believe that I've treated something like this so badly and also not researched it properly. 
So this is a another cautionary tale and a tale about researching, talking to people, getting advice and seeing really what you've got. So this is a vintage Vivian Westwood London size 10, it says, but it's tiny because it's vintage and it's brand new with tags. Now, I knew this was good. It's got silk in it and wool, I believe, if I remember rightly. It should say up here, actually. Um, size 10. Yeah, silk, cotton. Here we go. <laughs> I will get it on camera. There we go. Silk, cotton, acetate or acetate, whatever you call it. Dry clean only made in England. So this is the skirt. When I bought it, I found it in a Bernardo's in Hull City Centre and I paid £3.99. pence. I still can't quite get over that and when I took it to the counter the woman was astounded. She still sold me it and as soon as I got out of the shop I rang Rob and I said you'll never guess what I found. And he didn't guess, needless to say, I told him. He was like, wow, that's amazing. So I did a bit of research at the time, thought that I'd found the right things. And it's been listed for 500, 400, 300. I even put it on an auction at one point, starting at 50 pound, and it hasn't gone. So I spoke to my lovely Instagram buddies who I've never met in real life but I watch their videos I feel like I know them and they help me out so much so I've got to be a, get a big shout out out there to Bethany and Austin also known as the luxury pickers I messaged them yesterday and basically said could I please pick your brain about something and as always they were completely lovely said of course we'll help you blah 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 so I sent them this, the pictures that I've done of this skirt, my listing basically. So the the first picture and the dis and the title, the description, the other pictures, blah blah blah. And I said to them, "What's going on with the skirt? Have you got any advice? Anything at all? Be brutal. Don't worry about offending me because you won't. I want to get it sold. It's been stuck around for so long. I don't understand why it isn't going. Gets a lot of interest, but nobody's put any offers in." And I've had it all this time. So they basically said to me that there are skirts like this. And apparently this is from 1994 or thereabouts. Um, obviously it's vintage. It's brand new as well because it hasn't been used. It's got the tags in it. Original tags from Liberty. And yeah, they astounded me by telling me that it is actually a really sought after piece. And uh, there are some listed on Vestiaire for £2,000. So, yeah, I think that maybe this hasn't gone because I haven't priced it right. They did say that my, our description was brilliant, which I'm really pleased about. But I just need to put in the title that it's from the 90s and redo my photographs which I'm not surprised that is the advice because I thought that myself. Um, like I say, it's an old listing. It's about two and a half years old. I didn't put as much care and time into my listings as I do now. I did it with the description, but the photographs were, yeah, rookie beginners photographs, shall we say. They weren't to the standard that I try and do now. Sometimes I still mess up when I'm tired or not very well, but I try to... <laughs> Keep a certain standard. So this skirt is getting listed on eBay and Vestiaire. And I'm going to aim high. I am just absolutely astounded by how much these are worth. Because it's old as well. It's vintage. It's a, it's a really sought after piece. I mean, God bless her. Vivian Westwood died this year. Um, And yeah, very sad news. But obviously pieces like this... They go up in price, don't they, when bad things like that happen? And I was surprised it didn't sell, to be honest, especially as soon as I've completely undercut it. But I think 
people looking for things like this i think they get nervous by a cheap price so yeah i think this actually measures up at a uk size four so it's tiny even though it says 10 in it now i don't know whether vivian westwood clothes are measuring up small anyway because never been in the position to earn any of her lovely stuff they may very well measure up small anyway, but vintage obviously does measure up small anyway because us ladies have evolved over time and so has fashion and sizes. So yeah, I will keep you posted on this one, guys. I'm absolutely gobsmacked and so excited to get this rejigged and back on and see what happens. So this little guy... I bought him only a couple of weeks ago. Paid, I think I paid a pound for him. And a lot of people said um, on the video that I won't get much for him. And I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. I listed him for 9 99 in the end and I know that was a long shot. But I've ended up selling him for £5 plus postage. So I'm really happy with that because it's gone pretty quick. And yeah, um, they came in, at, I think they offered me £3 and I went back with 5 counter offered and they bought. So I was really happy with that. The only thing that does make me laugh is I'd put him in a box and I, I have quite a photographic memory. So I remembered putting him in a box, but... For some reason, I didn't write on my listing what box he was in. So I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense because I always write the box numbers down. Anyway, luckily, I could see him through one of my boxes. It was this one here. No, it wasn't. It was this one here. I could see him right there next to the Monster High boots. <laughs> That's another doll there. Um, it was right there. So luckily, I could see him. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know whether I've put it in and it just hasn't gone on because sometimes eBay glitches or whether I just forgot. But anyway, found him. £5 plus postage. Yay. Hello, I'm back. Right, so I've had a question from Vintage CRT Gaming. Thank you so much for your question. So basically they wanted to know if I buy something off Facebook Marketplace, how do I put that through my books? So there's two things I do and I'm not saying that these are right because I have never actually asked anybody who knows about this stuff if it's right. But the only way I can see to do it is I print off the conversation where we agree the price and I also print off the money. So basically what I do is when I buy something off Facebook Marketplace, I take that money out of the bank the same day that I've agreed on the message to go and get the item and I put that bit of bank statement with the message and that's what I use as my receipt. I usually write on it in pen as well exactly what it is and when I picked it up. Whether you can actually use that legally I don't know but that is how I receipt my stuff. Um, if anybody has any advice on this that knows exactly what you can do please write it in the comments because it'd be a massive help. Um, yeah, that's how I do it. I think it's the only way we could think. It's like when we go to a car boot. If we're going to a car boot, we usually have the funds ready the day before. So we'll go to the bank and we will draw out however much we're taking. And basically what we do is we put that receipt from the cash machine through the books, right on it car boot and how much of that we've spent. So that is the receipt. And um, if we spend any more, then I don't tend to put that on because usually it's only, you know, pence that I've got in my purse. But um, if it's less, I write how much exactly that I've spent and have that as my receipt. So I took that cash out of the bank. There it is. But this is how much I spent. And I usually write a list of what I bought as well. So I hope that helps. Let me know in the comments if you know or if you have any ideas of how you can do it. And it is actually 100% correct because... I am not sure that that would be okay. Now, I used to be a childminder a few years ago and I did my own books then. I did have an accountant, but everything I did 
regarding buying things from charity shops or whatever, putting them through my books, if I didn't have a receipt, it all seemed to be okay doing it that way back then. But things may have changed. So let me know in the comments if you know. Can't seem to find a place where I'm not getting sunlight shone on my head like a beacon. <laughs> anyway, um, Laura Williams on Instagram was asking me about how I basically put keywords and how I come across keywords to put into my listings. So basically all I do is I Google image, I search for that item and I see what other people have put in for keywords if I'm stuck. Otherwise, keywords tend to be um, what you would basically put in if you were searching for that item. So I ask my family, I ask people on Instagram if I'm stuck. I also ask people on here and basically I just go with their go with that but the only thing i can say is um because there isn't a lot of space on your title don't be worried about spilling your keywords over into your description because they'll still come up in the search maybe not as high but they will so yeah the best thing you can do is think about how you would what you would type in if you were looking for that item and then maybe do a poll on Instagram and ask other people too. And then you can get some really good keywords that way. Uh, I've got a bit of an announcement to make. Right, so this basically is the last of my stock. I've got a few items of clothing that I'm going to list to, probably two or three things. And this box here, this actually looks a lot more than it is. So once this box is listed, I am setting myself a challenge to see how much stock I can get rid of in February and also how high I can get my 90 day total. Now, as you all know, 90 day totals are not pure profit. There's a lot of stuff to come off that, but all I'm gonna go with is just that for my figure. It doesn't mean that's what I'm earning in 90 days. It just means that that is gonna be the figure that I'm trying to rise. Because obviously if that rises, then my profits rise and everything else naturally. So, I will keep you posted. I'm literally going to show you when I list these items and then I'm going to show you where I'm starting at and we're going to go from there. This is going to be my February challenge. I may buy a few items along the way, but what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to either list them and let you know so I'm not cheating. It'll show in my figures anyway, so there's no point in me cheating. And, or I might leave it, I might leave them to actually um, list in March. In March, March is going to be a major, major thrifting, sourcing, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to be out there buying all sorts, so watch out for that one. We usually do get really busy in March with that, just so, you know, our books even out at the end of the year as well. It's a good tip to bring you know bring your tax down basically by buying more stock and um, obviously you've got to be able to afford to do that though so watch your money <laughs> anyway that is what i'm going to do so i'm going to get this stuff listed in the next few days i will let you know on a video when i get it done like i've said before my videos are only going to be monday wednesday friday now but i'm getting better content and longer videos now so i'm hoping you'll like it let me know in the comments what you think and yeah, let's get on with it and see how much stock I can shift, how much room I can make in the house and how big a 90 day total I can get. So I've got some pretty cool sales to show you. Um, some things I have forgotten to show you. I sold um, a Tigger and Eeyore plush that were for Halloween. One of them was dressed as a devil, the other one was dressed as a witch. Um, I got £20 for those, plus postage. Can't remember how much I paid for them. I think it was only a couple of pounds. It wasn't much. Anyway, these are really good sales. So, the first one I need to mention is the monkey pyjamas. These are Christmas pyjamas. I bought them about two weeks ago. They have sold to a subscriber. So, thank you, Nina. Um, yeah, Nina has bought these off me. And I said I would give her channel a shout out anybody that loves watching reselling channels i haven't watched her channel yet but i'm going to i'm going to be honest i have subscribed she is called nina's tiny treasures 
go over give her a sub and let me know what you think of her videos and thank you nina for being a massive support to my channel not only do you buy from me you always comment you always like and i appreciate you so much and that's why i'm giving you the shout out so thank you um i have also oh, i forgot to say how much they went for I think these were $15.99 plus postage, if I remember rightly. Sorry about that, guys. I'm so dozy at the minute. I bought these, I think they were $3.25. I've had them a couple of weeks. Then I've sold this Phase 8 jumper dress. Um, just blue and white striped. It is a size... Uh, I think it's a size 14. The size has been taken out of it. Anyway, um, there was a bit of bartering going on with this sale. They offered me £10. I went back with 15 because it, they were already on for, I think it was 16 49 in a sale that I've got. And then they came back with £12 and a penny. So that's how much I accepted for those, plus postage, or for this, sorry, plus postage. So happy with that. I've had that about nine months and I paid around £5 for it. So not a brilliant sale, but a sale nevertheless. Sometimes with brands, you can get a dud that just doesn't shift and it doesn't get much interest. And that was one of these things. So anyway, she's gone now to a good home. The cutlery, this is what Rob's grandma gave us. It is a broken um, box, but it's got all this lovely vintage cutlery in it and all this spare cutlery here as well sorry i will get you in shot there's like some big spoons there's like the big trifle type spoons they have all been sold to someone in the usa um they went for 39.99 so basically i've had these listed about three weeks they were free because they were given to us by rob's grandma and yeah, they've going, they're going to America GSP. So very happy with that. $39.99 plus postage on those. So yeah, I just need to get them parceled up so they're going to be safe traveling overseas now. But yeah, a good couple of sales. And do not forget, subscribe to Nina's Tiny Treasures. And yeah, I have two. So I will be going over there and watching some videos and showing my support as soon as I get a minute to myself but I always watch YouTube so I will be on there <laughs> thank you Nina right that's it for today thank you so much for watching I hope you're enjoying the new um days the videos are out and the videos are a bit longer so I'm hoping you're enjoying the longer content let me know in the comments what you think if there's any questions you want me to cover or any content you want me to cover let me know and yeah I will see you on the next one so take care be kind stay safe see you soon ta-ta